All right, so we're going to take a picture from the internet and clean up the line art. And this will answer your question. In most cases, students always ask, how do I take my drawing and clean it up? This will put it in perspective for you. So you can draw on a piece of paper, use markers, ink it in, and then after which you can clean it up even further than what you could on paper ever because you can use vectors. So in this case I'm going to use um, a coloring book image. So I got Halloween coloring book page, a Google search under images, and I'm just going to choose something like this house. Doesn't matter what I choose, but look at uh, it's under a thousand, so this is the width and height in pixels. So what I'll do is um, I'll take and view image. This will bring the biggest one up front and save image as. So I'm going to save this onto my desktop, call it Scary Haunted House. Notice it's a GIF image. So the GIF image uh, is an index color in some cases, especially if it's black and white, and we have to be wary of that. So open up GIMP, and you go File, Open. All right, now you can zoom in using control and wheel mouse, and you can see these stair steps. Okay, this is the pixels. They are really apparent in this document. Notice it says index color, one layer. Index means I cannot add any color to it, So, which is funny because it's a coloring book page. So a lot of the students will download one of these, and they'll start coloring it, and they fail. Well, the first thing, be wary of index color and then change the mode over to RGB color and now you can color the document but I want to clean it up so the first thing I need to do is show you something in print size if I was to say make this as big as a piece of paper I'll just put like 8.5 by 11 notice it takes away resolution in order to get document size so Students always have a hard time grasping the concept of what is size compared to resolution. Well, in order to upsize, it must take away resolution in order to print. That's how it works. So we don't really want to do that because it's, it's redundant to up the, up the size of the, the print size and have the resolution drop. This is just going to make a really big bad image. Okay, so let's go to scale. In scale image, we can do something like this. Now I can up the document size and keep the resolution. Well, watch what happens. It gets really blurry. Only up close though, but it's pretty blurry. So that's step one. Step one is to up the size of the document to whatever you need in this program. Okay, then we save it. And the best way to do that is exporting in GIMP. So export as. I'm going to just export it as a JPEG. So change this to JPG. And hit export. Now up the quality, export. Okay, now we open up Inkscape. And I can either open or import that picture. I'm going to open it. That way it's, it stays the same document height and width as I brought it in. And if you zoom in, you have this. But it gets better. OK, 
Okay, so here's how you do it. You go to path and you go to trace bitmap. I'll keep it at 0.45, but you might want to change this after I after I show you how. But for right now, 0.45 is fine. I'll trace it and then move it off to the side so you can see the difference between it. Okay, here's what it looked like before, and here's what it looks like after. Now you see this gray area. See the gray? So what the threshold does is decide on what to do with the gray. Do I make it automatically black, or do I make it automatically white? Like if I said 0 0.80 here, Then click, try to click back onto this document. And look at it. It's deciding, hey, I'm going to magically take um, the gray and turn it automatically white. So look at the line here. Look at the line here. This was up on the threshold. And look at it decided to make all this warble stuff. It's just warbling all the way around. So, how about 0.3 or 0.2? Well, now it's got the it's got a kind of a flat look. So that's why I'm saying 0 0.45, 0 0.5 is actually a good thing because it's deciding to take black and treat it like more like a curve. And, and the grays are more like a curve. Again, you're going to have to play around with those numbers until you're happy with what type of line you're trying to get. In this case, I'm pretty happy with the 0.45. And I'm going to delete the old thing. Well, I want to take this back into GIMP and be able to color it. Well, in order to do that, we have to jump programs. And in order to do that, we have to save it. So file, save as, and I'll save it as Halloween images. The native file format is SVG, Scalable Vector Graphic. And I'll replace that because I already had it on the desktop, but in GIMP, here's my old, and I'm just going to file open. Now the advantage of this is huge because watch what happens when I open it. It asked me how big I want it. So by saying that, I can make it any size whatsoever. I want to print as big as the Empire State Building I could because all I do is have to know the size of the Empire State Building in inches, and I can type it in like uh, 855 or whatever, and it will automatically bring it in the correct resolution and everything. So let's try this. I will say... 22 inches. That's pretty big. And we'll say 300 dots per inch. That's pretty big also. And let's zoom in. See, the lines are really nice. Now having it this big, however, it means that if I go to color it, it's going to take a really long time sometimes because it's got a lot of resolution. I'll show you how to color in GIMP here in a second. So don't get greedy with the newfound power. Um, always treat it as, hey, what what is my print size? And in this case, I will say my print size is going to be 8.5 by 11. And 300 dots per inch is a good start. Still nice lines, but they're a medium. You know, like this one's too high a resolution. This one's just right. A lot of the stair stepping's gone. It has some, but the document is now small enough to be able to color on without being annoying. All right, so that's how you clean up your line art using Inkscape and GIMP. Enjoy. Let's go on to the next video.